Hey guys, it's Essence Marie, and today I'll be answering some questions for famous birthdays. So let's get right into it. Have you ever seriously considered quitting social media? Yes. When I first started social media, I was 14, and although it's a lot of good, with the good comes the bad, and you kind of focus more on the bad responses than you do on the good ones. And as a 14 year old little girl, that was kind of damaging to the soul. But now, I'm all, you know, it, it is what it is. So, yeah. If you could find out one thing about your future, what would it be? I honestly just want to know, like, where I'll end up because as much as I don't like being in the city that I was born in, I can't see myself anywhere else. I get very homesick and a lot of other places are very chaotic. So I wonder if I like get out of that and be somewhere better because it's not a great place down here. If you could meet three people dead or alive, who would you want to meet? Y'all already know number one is Ariana Grande. <laughs> Ariana Grande, Ariana Grande, Ariana Grande. <laughs> no, I want to meet Ariana Grande, my new obsession, Dominic Fike, and my baby Zendaya. Oh my gosh, how I'd love to meet Zendaya. If you had to eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would that meal be? I love chicken Alfredo, but my mom, she makes this buffalo chicken chili i'd eat that forever it is so good if you were stranded on an island and could only take three objects what would they be i would take a boat <laughs> obvious answer a boat a 24 pack of water and a big box of chips and i'll be straight I'll be straight. Yeah, I'm getting off that island though. It ain't it ain't no stranded. What advice would you give to your past self? I would tell myself, one, don't fall in love. Two, stop trying to grow up so fast. And three, enjoy your years. Like I always got told like enjoy your years, but I just recently turned 18 and I kind of realized like I'm not a kid anymore so <laughs> I would tell my past self to take take it all in day by day because I grew up way too fast. What advice would you have for someone who wants to be a social media influencer? Grow, get some thick skin, grow some thick skin because there's always going to be haters. There's always gonna be people who doubt you and when you have thick and tough skin, it, it, it won't bother you as much as it used to bother me. Um, don't start at a young age. I know that's what's popping right now, but for real, enjoy your years. Like honestly, it's, it's, it's great, but it's a job. It, it's a job. Like if, you, if you're ready to work, work you know but if you're not just just leave it for future you what are your favorite movies of all time i have a couple favorite movies but number one is she's the man with amanda Bynes. number two is called stick it i don't know who's in that movie but i love that movie and number three has to be greatest the greatest showman that movie is Chef's Kiss. And number four, new favorite movie, Spider-Man, No Way Home. Top four, all time. All time favorite movies, they're so great. When did you first go viral? I first went viral in 2018, maybe 2019. And my best friend, Brace Face Lay, was already, you know, popular and whatnot, had 20 some K. And I remember posting a video on Dove Smash, rest in peace to Dove Smash. And um, I posted it on Instagram and it got like 80,000 views and it was on like a YouTube compilation. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna keep doing this. 
and so I did and um it just went from there um videos were getting a hundred thousand views then I started making videos with my best friend and they just loved us so do you see social media as your long-term career path no and I'm gonna get into it if not what could you see yourself doing um social media is obviously a part of my life and it has been for a while but it's so toxic and draining that's why i took a little step back but i love music i've always loved music that was always my plan and i know whatever i do regardless if it's singing or writing or producing or in the background i just want to be a part of the music industry and i know it's not the greatest industry but with social media being at its peak honestly i think i'd enjoy myself doing music so that's my plan and those are my goals <laughs> those, that's my plan those are my goals what is your favorite holiday what is my favorite holiday i love christmas i'm not gonna lie i love giving though it's more so for me about giving than it is getting I mean, but who doesn't love getting gifts? Like, of course I love getting gifts, but I love giving gifts, like meaningful gifts and seeing people like be happy about them. So I love Christmas and just the whole like, you know, Christmas time feeling. It just, it's a nice, it's a nice Christmas spirit feeling, you know. <laughs> so who are your role models? One, my grandma for sure. I love her. She's so strong and she's taught me a lot of things. A lot of things. Um, and two would be Ariana Grande. Music wise, music wise. She's my inspiration for a lot of things. I freaking love Ariana Grande. <laughs> I love Ariana Grande. So yeah, I'm gonna stop talking about her though. What is your goal for where you'll be in three years? In three years, if my music doesn't do as well as I want it to, I'm probably going to go to school and get a degree to be a teacher. And I want to be a music teacher, of course. But if I want to be a music teacher, it would be for like... That doesn't even matter because I'm not going to be done with school in three years. But I do want to go to school and get a degree for teaching. So yeah hopefully i'm either famous and singing on stage with miss ariana or i'm in school being a teacher so yeah what is something about you that most people who follow you don't know about you <laughs> um number one my first name is unique i go by my middle name which is essence and I've always gone by my middle name though. So, but yeah, my first name is Unique. And I played softball when I was younger. And my favorite drink is Dr. Pepper. Every, everybody knows that though. I love me some Dr. Pepper. Last question. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Honestly, Anywhere outside of the United States would honestly be ideal. But growing up, I wanted to go to Europe, like England, because I love like One Direction and stuff. But honestly, like the Bahamas, I, I don't want to push it. I don't want to say nothing too big. Like I, I, I'd be good in the Bahamas and yeah, the Bahamas nice little island girl trip so <laughs> so yeah <laughs> that is it anyways that's all um thank you guys for watching my name is essence marie you can follow me on instagram at essence marie and my tiktok at essence marie bby baby so yeah thank you guys so much um and have a good day